A lot of good music to listen to. Maybe you can play that music outside this weekend for a change, Erica. Yeah, I, I mean, I really think you can spend some time outside and actually enjoy it. I mean, while we may not be as warm as we mm -hmm. were today, it was still very pleasant this yes. evening if you stepped out. So that's kind of what we're dealing with over the next couple of days. So that's your next first alert to actually enjoy some time outside. Maybe you have a lot of leaf cleanup to do because of all the wind that we saw come through earlier today. You should get some good time not only tomorrow, but again on Sunday if you need to get out and get some of that yard work done. Otherwise, for tonight, I mean, the big story is just the clouds starting to increase. Yes, it's still bringing easy out there this evening, but those winds will calm down as we look ahead towards the rest of the weekend. The wind will pick up again late Sunday, but that's really going to be kind of once we're done with most of our outdoor activities. And yes, you know, this is our note there. We may have a couple spot showers, but for the most part, this isn't going to be a huge deal for a lot of us. I was looking at a lot of observations just off to our west places like Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo. They are registering a little bit of light rain, but at most it's been about a trace. So this looks more impressive on radar than what's actually happening happening here at the ground and a lot of that has to do with how dry our air mass is at the moment. Your relative humidity values in the 30% range isn't overly saturated in terms of our atmosphere uh, wanting to bring us a lot of those rain chances. So it's done a good job of providing us the cloud cover. I think it's going to struggle to bring us much in the way of rainfall, especially as we head into the overnight, but we'll watch for any spot shower. Temperatures tonight headed for the mid 40s. You'll see this gradual drop in our temperatures here over the next several hours and a little bit of that light rain trying to get close to us, but a lot of us again are going to stay pretty quiet headed into early Saturday. So if you have outdoor plans tomorrow, you're waking up to temperatures a little farther inland, lower to middle 40s, much warmer the closer you get to Lake Erie. But it's really just a battle with some of that cloud cover. Now we may find a couple peaks of sunshine. I think the best areas to find some of that sun, the farther south from the lake shore that you can get or even farther to the west. That's where we're working in at least some breaks in some of those clouds, but You'll see it's a pretty quiet day overall as we go through your Saturday temperatures by 6 p.m. Most of us lower to middle 50s, and that's basically where we're going to be not only Saturday, but Sunday as well. In fact, Saturday night looking a lot like how it does tonight, but don't forget we got to turn those clocks back one hour before you head to bed. Otherwise, by Sunday morning, we may have a little light drizzle around the area, but that would honestly be about it. I mean, these rain chances just not looking super fruitful for us, but let's remind you again. Daylight saving time does come to an end 2 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. It's always a good reminder this time of the year to test those smoke alarms as well. Change out some of those batteries, making sure everything's in good working order. Maybe the bonus of this. I know the bonus probably isn't those 5 p.m. sunsets, but maybe you can squeeze out an extra hour of sleep or so. Uh, but again, it's those early sunsets that I know everybody just loves to look forward to this time of the year. Notice my sarcasm in that temperatures, though they do improve by Monday. We're going to be back into the middle 60s. That's well above average for this time of the year. You'll see us drop a little bit early this next week, and a lot of that has to do with just this more active pattern that we're going to eventually work back in. And yes, it does include some opportunities for rain, but you will have a lot of dry time in between a lot of these rain chances. So I think Monday afternoon into the evening brings us our best chance for rain on Monday. We may have a few isolated showers still lingering for your election day, but right now your election day forecast looking pretty good. I think the best rain chance comes back into play Wednesday into Thursday. So just keep that in mind as we look ahead towards the upcoming work week.